What's up, guys? Andrew Steinmetz, QAQC Manager with Genco Inc. Coming to you with my latest video. Today's video is going to be all about bending radius. Bending radius of MCs and conductors. This is something that I run into a lot on my inspections um, where guys just don't understand or even know about this code about the minimal bending radius on these wires and uh, MCs. So I thought I'd go over this with you today. Hopefully this helps you guys out in the field. I'm not expecting you guys to know or do these equations exactly uh, in the field, but as long as you know the general bending radius of various items and check in on them and make sure that we're not over bending them, um, that's as much as I can ask for uh, out there. So let's take a look and get right into this. So part one, so this is going to be a two-parter. I'm going to split it up in two parts so you're not sitting here watching a video for 30, 40 minutes. Uh, part one is going to be about MC. So 330.24 bending radius. Bends in type MC cable shall be so made that the cable will not be damaged. The radius of the curve of the inner edge of any bend shall not be less than required in 330.24A through C. So we got smooth sheath. For A, interlock type armor or corrugated sheath for B, and shielded conductors. Mostly with us, what we deal with in the field is going to be for it's going to be B, interlock type armor uh, and corrugated sheath. So that is seven times the external diameter of the metal sheath. So all the uh, MC bundles and everything have their diameter on them. You can look them up get pretty close to the exact number, um, but I'm going to show you some examples of, of the kind of bends to look for and what overbending looks for. So here's just something I pulled from the web on various sized uh, MCs uh, from 14.2 all the way to 10.4. The size is there on the left, and what we're going to show you today is 12.2. So it's the most basic and normal uh, MC size that you deal with in the field. And what we see here is it's 0.475 inches in diameter. So the standard 12.2 MC outside diameter is 0.475 inches. So we, now we have to determine the multiplier, which in our case, interlock type armor or corrugated sheath, uh, most common um, that you run into in the field. And that's going to be seven times the external diameter. Let's do the math. So what we'll do is we'll take seven times 0.475 inches. And that's going to equal three and 21 64th inches. Let's simplify that. We, you know, 21 64 is really small number. Let's just switch that to three and a half just to make the math easier on us. So right here is an example of the radius. So it's a pi, um, three and a half inches is from the center of the circle out. So three and a half inches on the curve to the center of the circle is what we're looking for for a standard 12-2, three and a half inch radius. So if you were to bend that MC uh, completely around where you have two sides of it, you're actually going to have that seven inches apart. So the three and a half goes to the center of the circle. That's hard to picture in the field. Um, but a lot of times the MC is completely bent where, you know, you could measure from one side of the MC to the other, and that should be no less than seven inches apart. So before I made a little diagram or, or a little uh, example of what that looks like, on the left here on this picture, we have a standard 12-2 MC. Um, I secured it where it's in the horseshoe shape, so you can see. So from one side of the MC to the other, there should be seven inches between there, and that is the minimum bend that should be in that MC. Um, I put things like the measuring tape and my lineman to kind of show the size, uh, so you could see the size variation there and, and just kind of get an idea of what kind of bend we're looking for. 
Um, then on the right, it just shows more about that MC cable bending radius interlock corrugated sheath, uh, showing that radius of three and a half inches, uh, seven inches from one side to the other, um, just showing exactly what we just went over. Now here we go on some examples I see on in the field. Um, these are examples of overbent um, beyond the minimum radius. Um, we're going to see here. Um, let me just get my pointer out there. So right here, uh, this is going to cause damage in the MC. This is is way overbent. Um, that needs to be corrected and bent properly. And then what we have right here, same thing. Uh, that doesn't look seven inches to me. It looks like there's a lot of strain on that MC. Um, and same with this one. And this is what I see mostly out there is that when we put the MC in the boxes, we like to go through these first uh, tombstone holes, um, knockouts in the wall, in the studs to pass through. That puts way too much strain on the MC um, and is not getting that bending radius. Again, too much strain out of the connector here over the bending radius. Again, here, same thing, and as well here. So this is what it should look like. These are examples of they should look like nice loops, even spacing. Oh, let's go back uh, right here. Nice, even loop going around. So this is what I want to see. If you're coming in from the side, instead of bending directly into the connector, just do a nice little loop and go straight in. This is a perfect example right here. It's you want that MC to go straight down into the connector straight down into the connector, not straining and pulling out of the connector this way, go straight down into the connector. And these are examples of when I've explained this to the guys out in the field, they go a little too far. When an MC is coming straight down from the from above or below, a loop is not necessary. You're not bending it, you're not doing that. So when I tell them that I wanna see loops when they're coming in or putting the strain on the MC, they just basically put it on all the MCs, all the runs that they're doing. This, the service loop here or anything would be maybe if the box is going to move or you're not sure of the placement of, the, of your receptacle, so you wanna leave a little wiggle room. But if you're coming straight down, you don't need the loop you're going straight into the connector. It's not necessary. Again, not necessary here and not necessary here. So, and these are examples of loops being put in, but defeats the purpose of the loop. The strain is still happening on the MCs. As you can see over here, it's straining over the bending radius here at the connector. And same with here, it's putting too much strain on there. If you're going to put a service loop in, it needs to come up and around and go straight down into it. Whoops. Straight down into the connector. So because you need to be within 12 inches for your strap, um, the CJ6 might not be the best strapping means here. Maybe putting in a spreader bracket across here, coming around, doing the circle and going straight into the connector. Again, we're trying to prevent strain on the MC, trying to prevent breaking the corrugated metal um, jacket or sheathing on there and causing damage to the wires. Uh, this is the whole point. This is why we need to um, watch this bending radius. Um, and again, it's just seven times the diameter of the MC. You can usually get the diameter of the MC you have from the packaging that it comes out in or you can you know, round up or take a simple look. 12 to seven inches apart, that's the smallest MC that we use. So you know if you have a 12-3, it's gonna be larger than seven inches. If you have a 10-2, it's gonna be larger than that. So you need just use good judgment out there and um, try not to strain or put too much strain on these MCs because um, we don't want damaged wires. Once that wall gets closed up, and you know the strain finally breaks the wire or you know cuts the um, jacket on the wire we just don't want that and that's going to cause warranty issues down the road 
So 330.24 MC bending radius. Um, and then on part two, follow for part two, and I'll go over conductor uh, bending radius because just like MC, conductors um, have a bending radius as well. And we'll go over that next time. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.